You say, say you can never be the one, but God say, make I tell you, say, say now you him choose in one month, in one week, you will sing a new song in two days, unless I then you will hear congratulations.
them tell you, say, say you can never be the one. But God say, make I tell you, say, say now you him choose in one month, in one week. You will sing a new song in two days, a lesser than you will hear. Congratulations, you're a sin. Be the one, but 
got to say, make I tell you, say, say now you him choose in one month, in one week, you will sing a new song in two days, unless I dance. your faith with me begin to lift up your voice begin to appreciate God thank him for his help that has been available to you all through this season give him glory give him praise bless his name magnify him recognize the uniqueness of today is the last day in this season of prayer and fasting and the last day is everyone's day it's also the third day in our season of prophetic release Lift up your voice, appreciate God, bless his name. Thank him for a day like this. What a loaded day. Appreciate him. Recognize and remember that God never asks us to seek him in vain. Thank him for his blessings that await you this day. Bless his name and magnify him. Thank him for the past 20 days that he has been manifesting himself to you and I as a prayer answering God. Thank him for all of the answers that he has been providing to your answer, to your requests and your, 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 your desires. Give him glory, give him praise, bless his name, magnify him. Thank him, he said better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Thank him for what awaits you today. Thank him because the last day is everyone's day. Show excitement because today is your own day. Thank him, thank him even in this day of prophetic release. Thank him because his word will be coming to you again today. Let him know that you are ready to receive that word that he has packaged for you even for this day. Give him glory, give him praise. Why don't you begin to 
Make known to him your desires even concerning this service. Begin to let God know what do you expect? What would you have him do for you? Begin to make your desires known to him. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. Lift up your right hand and begin to appreciate him. Thank him for what awaits you in this service today. This first service, our third Sunday of prophetic release, the last day in our 21-day prayer and fasting. Bless his name, magnify him. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Of course, God has been visiting every one of us, and that's why I know without a doubt that we have testimonies. Please make your way to the foyer. Share them, and you'll be given the opportunity due time to share them with the brethren. Let's put our hands together as we receive the choir. Can you wave your hands on to Jesus? Father, we worship you. We give you the praise. You are worthy of our praise. We thank you. We present ourselves to you this morning. Come on, lift your voice and give God praise. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Blessed be your name. Thank you for bringing us today to anyone. Is anyone excited in this place? Give Jesus a shout. Come on, put your hands together. Ha -ha. Creator, creator.
shout, shout, hallelujah. If you are happy to see this last day of the fast, the last day is everybody's day. I want you to shout, hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. You may please have your seat. In this third prophetic release Sunday and our last day of the fast, let's welcome ourselves in the book of Psalm 126. Psalm 126. We are going to read responsively with joy and rejoicing in our heart. Psalm 126. I start verse 1. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Verse 2, church. With laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. For turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Now verse 6 together. He that goeth forth and weepeth, we have in precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. You are welcome. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I'm finally on the covenant highways of life. Please pay attention to the following announcements and be blessed. Number one, praise the Lord. The ongoing 21 days prayer and fasting concludes today, Sunday, the 29th of January, 2023. As we all are aware, every divine agenda speaks loudest at the end. Therefore, expect the greatest order of encounters with God in these final hours that will result into life transforming encounters, amen? amen? Remember, we are to break our fast in the evening with communion in our respective homes. Number two, covenant hour of prayer holds this week, Monday to Saturday, attend personally and physically here on ground or online via our YouTube, Facebook, and MixLR channels. Time is 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. While on Saturday, the time is 7 a.m. We are all admonished to be part of this for our spiritual growth and upliftment. Wednesday being the first of February shall be our covenant day of trumpet service in place of the covenant hour of prayer for that day. Number three, believers foundation and membership classes holds live today at the multiplex hall after the second and the third services or online on Saturday. Be reminded that this is for all new converts, new members, and anyone that has not attended before. Number four, midweek communion service holds on Wednesday, February the 1st, 2023. We shall wait on the Lord in a fast and gather to pray and break our fast with the communion. Time is 6 p.m. Please note that the midweek service continues to hold every Wednesday at sitting bond and backing centers. Time is 6 p.m. PM. The um, City Born and Barking um, back Centers are physical church only. It's not uh, streamed online. Number five, WSF Leaders Empowerment Fellowship, uh, Empowerment Summit. The February edition of the Leadership Empowerment Summit shall hold on Saturday, the 4th of February 2023. Time is 6 a.m. All pastors, cell ministers, elders, Dickens and Dicknesses and all service unit leaders are expected to be in attendance. Good news. <clears throat> Our establishment midday prayer continues this week, Monday to Friday in the multiplex hall. Time is 12 noon daily. Winner Satellite Fellowship holds this Saturday at our cell centers across Dartford, Greater London and Environs invite a neighbor to partake of this fellowship time. If you desire to host a cell in your house, please pick up the enlistment card and register at the protocol stand. 
or as you host the ark of God in your home, expect continuous inflow of testimonies into your life. Amen? Do not miss this faith-boosting meeting for anything. Time is 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Number eight, kingdom obligations. We are to ensure the redeeming payment of our Shiloh sacrifices and vows, offerings, tithes, transportation, and welfare seeds, and commitments using the various giving ways. Number nine, send and share your testimonies to the address and phone number displayed on the screen. As you do, the Lord will multiply testimonies in your life. 10 vacancies. The following positions are available within the WMA WCI Dartford Finance Officer, Requisition Officer, Gift Aid Officer, CDC and Media Officer, Follow Up Officer, and National Administrator. Visit our website. Visit our website for application forms and other details. The closing date is January 31st, 2023. Number 11, good news. <laughs> the third in the series of our Youth Aflame meeting comes up today after the third service with the theme, You Must Finish Well. The venue is Teens Church and time is 1 p.m. Kindly mobilize other youths to come with you. Number 12, Youth Aflame. The Youth Alive Fellowship invites all young adults to the February edition of Youth Aflame that is titled, What's Love Got to Do With It? As we approach the Valentine, fresh look or take on relationship will be looked at. Um, we are a thought-provoking team and around the concept of what's love got to do with it will be discussed. You have plenty of room to discuss your thoughts and go to know and get to know people, share your talents, all in a relaxed environment. Time, date is a Sunday, the 5th of February, 2023. Time is 1 p.m., immediately after the third service, and venue is the Teens Church. Number 13, Valentine Sorry, Dartford Marriage Committee and Youth Alive Fellowship are pleased to announce the Valentine Sorry on Friday, the 17th of February, 2022. Doors open at 6 p.m. Join us for a truly magical night of dinner, dancing, and comedy. The evening will include three-course dinner served between 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. with desserts to follow. We will also be hosting a live band starting at 8 p.m for your entertainment, dress to impress, for our red and wine themed ball, because there will be prizes for the best, best dressed couples and individuals. Tickets are 20 pounds per person and can be collected at the YAF stand. We look forward to seeing you there. Number 14, praise the Lord. Next Sunday, the 5th of February, 2023, shall be our Covenant Open Doors service. It shall also double as a thanksgiving for the 21 days of prayer and fasting and January end of month thanksgiving, marriage and children dedication service. Grace to get on the highway of life shall be unleashed upon every one of us. Amen. Amen. Service schedule is as usual. Third service is extended. Take advantage of the free transport and uh, bus shuttles to come to church with your families, new converts and invitees for an encounter. Details of the multiple routes in operation are in our church's website. And finally, visit the bookshop for the books of the month and other titles and connect with us via our social media handles. Jesus is Lord. God bless you as you do. Put your hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am finally on the covenant highways of life. In this service, it is testimony time. Oh, I can't hear you, testimony time. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20, it says, to the testimony and to the law, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. As you receive light from these testimonies, 
Yours will be the next. Please put your hands together as we welcome the following brethren. And as I call their name, I want them to march forward quickly. Mayowa Afolanyo. Mayowa Afolanyo. Shadi Lawal. Shadi Lawal. Zoe Teresa Lili. Zoe Teresa Lili. Shadi Lawal. Mayowa Afolanyo. I'm sure you can make your club bigger for Jesus. Please come up to the altar to share your testimony, your name, and what the Lord has done for you in a minute. Once I was blind, now I can see. Praise the Lord. My name is Maya Wafala, and I want to give glory for God is faithful God. And back then in Nigeria, um, nothing was working, and I was working in federal government agency, but nothing was working due to a past mistake I made, and I was indebted that any time my salary comes in, like 80% is going for debt. So my um, wife, Junior Bora, just called me, uh, hey, do you still have passport? I said, yes, I have, but since 2019, it was just there, wasting. And I said, don't worry, I'll call you back. So he did everything about our relocation, and God, God granted us favor. December, I got into the country, and that day when I'm coming to the country, that was the day my family, my wife, and my children were going for an interview in the embassy. And by God's grace, maybe next month they will be coming. And secondly, <laughs> secondly, I want to give you all the glory. Last week, Monday, my wife called me that my children, my daughter and my son, they are sick. She took them to the hospital. Nothing was working. They prescribed antibiotics and held that. Nothing was working. And on um, blood of sprinkly, I have their passports, their, um, their passports in my wallet. So when the blood was sprinkly was on Friday, I came to church. The blood of sprinkling was, I just bring it out from my wallet. And so the blood of sprinkling was applied to the pictures, and in Nigeria, God answered. Hallelujah. Your name, straight to the point, once I was blind, now I can see. Amen. My name is Zoe Teresa Lilly. Um, first, I want to humble myself before the church and before God, because I want to be a woman of um, integrity and um, honesty and humility. I had said one thing wrong, um, I think it's a couple of weeks ago in my testimony, where I shared that I thought my mum had told me that my dad had left for an affair. She hadn't, but God has still set me free and revealed the truth to me. Um, two, I want to thank the Lord for the Bible school that I come to uh, last year in August, um, how he enabled me to fight the warfare that I've been facing, but also they said that I'll be sharing testimony, which I've shared testimony. Um, also, the Lord has provided a place for me to live. I prophesied that I'd have a place before Christmas, and he provided me somewhere to live. Also, on the last day of the Bible school, I was, it was absolutely amazing, because I'd been away from the Lord for 10 years, but he had um, brought me back. And what happened is um, they prayed that he'd be pulled actually out of the grave, and I felt the Holy Spirit physically move me and pull me and resurrect me from the grave. So we Praise the Lord. Multiple testimonies she has given. God has indeed done it again. Your name, straight to the point. My name is Shade. Um, in 2019, during COVID, I didn't come back to church and I fell into great depression and there's so many things was going wrong. I lost my job, I lost everything. Um, and then Sheila came and I wasn't gonna come, but something was just pushing me, pushing me, pushing me to come. And I had no money. I gave my last um, on the ninth, the last day. And I just, I didn't ask for anything, but for God to come into my life. And then God has blessed me ever since. And now financially, I've just seen so much favor from God. I'm so grateful. I thought it was gonna take long for God to bless me, but I saw in Psalms that God's, God's anger's for a moment, but his favor's forever. So I thank God. Hallelujah. Healing. Depression destroyed and financial turn around. Multiple testimonies. God has healed her of her family. And finally, God relocated him supernaturally, bringing his children and healing his children. For all these wonderful testimonies, who is the doer? That same God will be visiting you today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. 
in a moment we shall be rising up to pray and we shall be praying father in the name of jesus thank you for granting speedy answers to all prayers all through the 21 days of prayer and fasting let's say a big amen to that uh, anchor scripture is Psalm chapter 66 and verse 19. But verily God hath heard me. He had attended to the voice of my prayer. If you want to give God thanks, why don't you rise up to your feet now as you open your mouth and begin to give God quality thanks from the depth of your heart. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for granting speedy answers to all of our prayers all through the 21 days of prayer and fasting. Lord, thank you for cutting it short in righteousness. Thank you, mighty God, for causing bright clouds to appear, ushering in great answers us to every request thank you for answering every question thank you for granting our request thank you for granting our petitions lord we give you praise you have been the god that have been with us since the 9th of january even until this day this final day the great day of the feast father we thank you we give you praise lift your hands begin to appreciate him if god has answered your prayer and you know deep down in your heart is a good god lift your hand give him quality time father we give you praise we appreciate you for speedy answer thank you for shattering door not opening doors but shattering breaking them down lord we give you praise blessed be your name mighty god blessed be your name mighty god you are the god that have done this it's a good thing to give thanks unto the lord and this is the lost doing and it is marvelous in our eyes father we thank you we give you all the praise we give you all the glory thank you mighty god because you have not called us to seek you in vain thank you for granting our request thank you mighty god for the speedy answers to all our requests thank you jesus lord we give you praise thank you for the advancement thank you for the business breakthrough thank you for the career elevation thank you for promotion thank you for family peace thank you for granting peace that passes all understanding to you we lift our hands appreciate him speak to god in the language of the spirit right now blessed be your name mighty god we thank you to you be praised forever in jesus mighty name we have given thanks please put your hands together and sit there Praise the Lord, I am finally on the covenant highway of life. Shortly we shall be taking our next prayer saying, Father, by the Holy Ghost, fire up your love in every winner all through the year 2023, resulting in prompt obedience. Say aloud, loud, amen. First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine, but as it is written, eyes have not seen nor near heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those that love him. With this understanding, let us stand to our feet right now. Let me begin to pray. Father, by the Holy Ghost, fire up your love in every winner all through the year 2023, resulting in prompt obedience. Father, by the Holy Ghost, fire up your love in every winner all through this year, resulting in prompt obedience to all that you have commanded us lift up your voice pray that prayer with family this morning by the power of the holy ghost fire up your love in every winner all through the year 2023 resulting in prompt obedience father by the power of the holy ghost fire up your love in every winner all through this year 2023 resulting in prompt obedience in the name of jesus father we are asking you this morning by the power of the Holy Ghost fire up your love in every winner all through this year resulting in prompt obedience in the name of Jesus father we are asking again by the Holy Ghost fire up your love in every winner all through the year 2023 resulting in prompt obedience by the power of the Holy Ghost fire up your love in our hearts all through this year 2023 resulting 
resulting in prompt obedience in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost fire up your love in every winner thereby resulting in prompt obedience all through this year in the name of Jesus begin to give God thanks right now for firing up his love in your heart all through this year father we thank you for firing up your love in every winner resulting in prompt obedience all through this year father we thank you blessed be your holy name in jesus mighty name we have prayed put your hand together for jesus and please be seated Praise the Lord. I'm on the Covenant Highways of Life. This morning, it is my privilege to welcome a number of us who are here today worshiping at Winners Chapel International at Dartford for the first time on a Sunday, both in person and online. So, if today is your first time in this church, kindly rise up to your feet everywhere, wherever you are now, please rise up to your feet. Church, put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ as they rise everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if you are online, please text the word connected and your location to the phone number displayed. Please remain standing as our officials will put into your hand a welcome package. Along with it, you will be given a slip to fear. And as soon as you receive your copy of the pack and sleep, please take your seat and begin to feel the sleep given to you in the course of this welcome. And please pay attention to this as you feel the sleep. What is unique about this church? This church is ordained a house of liberation by divine minded, where God stops the tears of men and women, old and young, boys and girls. We are God to terminate all oppressions of the devil and confess breakthroughs on all members as they believe. God has not ceased to confirm his word since this mandate was delivered over 41 years ago. I want to welcome you today to this breakthrough family and may today be your entry into the realms of unstoppable breakthroughs that you have always longed for in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, to all our voice timers, worshipers, we say to you, welcome home. Church, give your hand to the bigger to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. In this great service, it's my privilege to read an epistle from the president to all mission stations. Subject declaring 2023 property weeks of harvest. Covenant have with greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. I told you I said, amen. amen. As it's written, he God reserved unto us the appointed week of harvest. While beholding the face of the Lord in the ongoing prayer and fasting, God revealed to me his appointed weeks of harvest for the church this year, saying, The first twelve weeks of the year after the ongoing prayer and fasting shall be your appointed weeks of harvest as a church. Interestingly, we all saw how the ark of God was kept in the house of Abedadon for three months and how God supernaturally changed his story with breaking news order of blessings. As we're all aware, playing host to the ark of God can be likened to engaging with the move of God, which implies dedicating to kingdom advancement endeavors, making the sacrifice of time, energy, resources in serving the Lord for three months like Abedadon did. We result in the supernatural change of story for everyone that were engaged in like manner. Therefore, February 6th to April 30th is hereby declared our 2023 prophetic weeks of harvest. I thought you are putting together for Jesus. In all of our churches worldwide, we are expected to see every assembly in this church experience minimum four times of our, size, of our present size on or before the April 30th, 2023, in the name of Jesus Christ. But it's not enough to believe. We must prove that we believe by doing what he commands us to do by faith, because faith without works is dead. What are we to do to, to secure full delivery of our portion as individuals? 
Anyone that truly deserves to see 12 souls delivered into the kingdom with minimum fall of them established in this church should enter to a love-motivated covenant with God for speedy delivery and expect to experience the hand of God to make it happen. God has undid that everyone that keep this term of, his, of this covenant and delivered same by faith shall be launched into the realm of what eyes have not seen nor yet heard. That is, imagine as a pathfinder, peace setter, and trailblazer. Furthermore, as a prophetic Isaac order of, of year, every love material investment toward actualizing the delivery of each one portion shall turn such individual into an envious of his or her word, which implies eradication of every trace of shame and reproach in our lives. May each of us receive grace to maximize this highly prophetic season in the name of Jesus Christ. The may ever bless Jesus is Lord David O. Ojidipo. Can you put your blessing together for Jesus? But rather came to give us all Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highways of life. In this service, it's time to honor the Lord with our offering. It's time to pay our tithe. It's time to redeem our vows. It is offering time. I say it is offering time. Please, let's begin to put our worship seat together in case you have not done so. Remember, you are tight, 10% of your increase, your Shiloh vows, and every other seed you have vowed before the Lord. A Bible speaking in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 9 and 10, he said, Honor the Lord thy God with her substance and the increase of thy house. He says, So shall your bond be filled with plenty and your presses will burst out with new wine. Please remember to take advantage of all the giving channels. If you are online, please let's begin to process our offering this morning. If you have done doing that, rise on your feet with those devices above your head and those envelopes and begin to appreciate God. Father, I have returned. This is the final day of this 21 days prayer and fasting to worship you with the offering in my hand. I have come to pay my tithe. I have come to redeem my vow. Let the seeds in my hand ascend unto you as a sweet smelling savour. Father, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. As you give today, God will make you a financial wonder. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Please, you may be seated. Cast your offering as we welcome the choir.
Walking in the speed of the Holy Ghost, go ahead. Give him thanks. Appreciate this man of God. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Seeing the last day of the fast, the 21st day. Give him thanks, everyone, for the strength, for the grace, for the empowerment we have received, for the blessings we have received, for the answers we have received. We don't serve a dead God, we serve a prayer answering God. Unto him that heareth prayer we have come. He has answered us again and again and he will do it today again. Go ahead and give him thanks. Appreciate him again. Lay it to heart to give him praise. The Bible says he that giveth thanks in the spirit, giveth thanks well. Go ahead, thank him in the Holy Ghost. Sing to him in the Holy Ghost. Sing to him in the spirit. Appreciate him. Give him the praise, give him the honor, give him the adoration. He deserves our thanks, he deserves our worship, he deserves it all. Father, we give you the glory, we give you the praise, we magnify you. Now ask him, Lord, speak to me again this morning. A word for me and to me, send me that word, that word of life, that inoculating word, that destiny molding word, that establishing word. That salted word, the word for me in season and out of season, send me that word today. That final word, send it to me. Send me that word this morning. Leriano suse bradia, lanale lilo suso brodea, shanale ado sonontolodia, sande le baraba, fanati tutu teredia, lo shanati tito tobre dia gaya. Father, we give you the glory and we give you the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. As you have declared, so it will be for you. In 1 Kings chapter 17 and verse 21, we're going to pray one more prayer concerning today. We look at 1 Kings chapter 17 and verse 21. Hallelujah. The second scripture we're going to also look at is Numbers 24, verse 10. And I believe very strongly that this will be speaking for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And he stretched himself upon the child three times. Three times. And cried unto the Lord and said, O oh Lord my God, I pray thee, let this child's soul come into him again. In verse 22, the Bible says, the child was revived. Today is the third time the prophetic word will be coming. For somebody, whatever it is that is dead, is surging back to life. I said, whatever it is that is dead, by the prophetic verdicts of today, by the prophetic releases of today, your story is changing. Numbers 24 and verse 10. Numbers 24 verse 10. You find the account where Israel was to be cursed. And then Balak being hungry, his anger was kindled against Balaam. And he smote his hand together. And Balak said unto him, Balaam, I called thee to curse my enemies. And behold, thou art all together blessed them these three times. Today is the third time that blessing will answer for you. You know what that means? Every cause today is turned to blessing. The first prophetic release, the cause was turned to blessing. The second prophetic release, the cause was turned to blessing. This is the third one. As you receive it from your heart, with all of your heart, it shall be blessing today. Now speak to the Lord, Father, as you send your word to me. 
that prophetic release to me, let it answer in every area of my life in blessing. Let it cause every dead situation. Let it come alive. Let everyone come out of the pit wherein there is no water. In the mighty name of Jesus, let everyone come out of the pit wherein there is no water. Today, by the prophetic release, the prophetic verdict that you have, that you have called for, Lord, as you declare it through the lips of our Father in the faith, it leads to blessing. It leads to abundance. It leads to breakthrough. It leads to answer. It leads to elevation. It leads to promotion in the life of everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we know it is done in Jesus' mighty name. As you have declared, so it is done for you. For everyone, your answer on this final day shall be delivered. All through this year, you'll be seeing answers to answer. You get into the month of February, answer. The month of March, answer. The month of April, answer. May, June, July. It will be answers galore. The third quarter, answer. And by the time we are getting to Shiloh, you'll be seeing commotions of answer. This year, God will so shock you, you'll be an amazement to yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. For all the testimony this morning, we appreciate God. We give him thanks. He's still the doer at work here. He will yet do it again. Lord, send your word again with simplicity, with power, with punch. Let everyone live here with their testimonies in their hand. In Jesus' mighty name. For somebody who knows you have been blessed all through this season, put those beautiful hands together. And please, let's have a seat. Hallelujah. This morning again, I see somebody's testimony is being delivered. That amen sounds as if you are not ready. This 21st day, your blessings will gush at you. By the time we are doing Thanksgiving, both now till the evening, and as we are breaking, it will be testimonies, testimonies, testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, we are looking at, especially because of the season we're in, as we conclude this prayer and fasting season, we're looking at how do I know when my prayer is answered? How do I know when my prayers is answered? How do I know? We look at part one in this service, part two in the second service, and then part three. How do I know when my prayer is answered? Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 is a call upon me and I will answer and show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest not. There are things you don't know but when you call he shows them to you. Great and mighty, great and mighty, not small things. There are great things ready for you. There are mighty things available but you must call for him to show them to you. For someone, you will not miss the great things. The mighty things of God, the mighty acts of God, for you this year, it will not miss your life. It will not miss your hand. It will not miss your family. It will not miss your career. It will not miss your business. Because there are great things awaiting you and I, and it will find practical and express fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ. However, we must understand that prayer is a two-way communication. It's a two-way communion. It is a two-way relationship between man and God. And what does that mean? It means man calling on God and God responding back. Man calling to God and God responding back. In Matthew chapter 7 from verse 7 and 8, he said, ask and it shall be given. Response. Seek and you shall find response. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Response. To him that asketh, receive it. Response. To him that seeketh, find it. Response. To him that knocketh, shall the door be opened. Until there is a asking, there is no receiving. Until there is a seeking, there is no finding. And until there is a knocking from man, there is no opening by God. For somebody here, you will knock and you shall receive. 
Exodus 19 verse 19, and when the voice of trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice. Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice. So there are ways God can answer. If you look at that scripture, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he said, call upon me, I will answer. He can answer by a voice or answer by a vision or answer however he chooses. In the course of the week, at the staff devotion, we looked at various ways through which God speaks back. We looked at 21 ways. Please realize that we are in a world of voices. And we must be able to recognize the voice of God. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 10. Don't just make haste to utter things to God. Make haste to hear and to see from him. Don't just make haste to utter things to God. To, to express your desire to the Lord. But also make haste to receive from the Lord. For somebody here, you will receive from the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 2, 1 and 2. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 1 and 2. Proverbs 1 verse 5. None of us here shall miss the voice of God. Ecclesiastes 5. He said, keep thy foot. When God goeth, when thou goest to the house of God, and more ready to what? To hear than to give the sacrifices of fool. For they consider not that they do evil. Be quick to hear. Verse 2. Next verse. He said, be not rash with what? With thy mouth. Let not thy heart be what? Hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven. And thou upon earth, therefore, let thy words be few. Many are speaking, but not many are hearing. May you hear today. I said, may you hear in the name of Jesus. None of us here will miss the voice of God. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5. Proverbs 1 verse 5. God is speaking and you will not miss it. A wise man will hear and will increase what? Learning by hearing. And a man of understanding shall what? Shall attain unto wise counsel. One of the ways God speaks back is through wise counsel. There are counsels you receive that shifts your life if you engage it. Hallelujah. You will not miss out. I said you will not miss out. Revelations 1 verse 10, I was in the spirit on the last day and I heard. It takes you being in the spirit to hear. It's good to pray, but it's a major also to hear. Somebody here, we hear in Jesus' name. That's why, for example, King David prayed severally unto God for direction and God answered him swiftly. God answered him speedily. God answered him quickly. you find that account in 1 Samuel chapter 30 from verse 6 to 9. Will I, should I pursue? Will I overtake? Will I recover all? And God said, pursue for thou shalt surely overtake and recover all. Swift answer. The question is, what if David had prayed and didn't hear God? We must make haste to pray and also make haste to hear. Somebody here, you will hear in the name of Jesus. Second Samuel chapter 5, also from verse 18 to 20. He prayed, and God also spoke again speedily, quickly, and answered him. For someone here, you will hear in Jesus' name. Most believers only know how to pray, but many don't know when their prayers are answered. This reminds me of the story of the Christians praying in Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 12, praying for Peter to be released. Oh, Peter, oh God, let Peter be released. Let Peter be released. In the name of Jesus, they began praying. And then Peter showed up at the door and yet they were afraid. Because why? They were praying not expecting. Praying not hearing. Amen. For somebody here, your answers will be delivered speedily. I said your answers will be delivered speedily. I said your answer will be delivered speedily. I said your answer will be delivered speedily. 
Amen. So please note that surely there is an end. An end to what? An end to prayer. What is the end to prayer? What is the end to prayer, everybody? Surely there is what? Tap your neighbor, say surely. There is an, an end. An end to your prayer. Let me ask them, what are you expecting? What are you expecting? Hallelujah. You will not miss out in Jesus' name. Now, how do I know when my prayers are answered? As time permits, we look at it. How do I know? Number one. Amen. How do I know when my prayer is answered? Number one, when I have prayed with my heart. When I have what, everybody? When I have prayed with my heart. Not with the lips. Not with the mind. Not with the head. The heart. When I have prayed with the heart, Jeremiah 29, verse 13, and ye shall seek me. I mean, of all this, remember that scripture, Matthew 7 7. Ye shall seek me and do what? Find me when ye shall search me with all thy heart. So when you have prayed with all of your heart, then your prayers have been answered. James chapter 5. From verse 17 to 18, somebody's prayer already is answered. You know why? You have been praying from your heart. Tap your neighbor, your prayers have been answered. If you have been praying from the heart. Let me ask, I'm sure you have been praying from the heart. Your prayers are not on, the, on your tongue. They are not in your mind. They are not in your head. It's surging from your heart. Every prayer that surges from the heart... That is burning from the heart, passionately, fervently, is a prayer answered. You too know you are prayed. You have not wasted your time. James chapter 5, 17 and 18. And Elijah was a man with what? With, in fact, let's look at the amplified version, amplified version of this scripture. Elijah was a man with what? Na nature like ours, yes. When with the same physical, mental, spiritual limitations and shortcoming, he prayed what everybody? Intensely. To what? For it not to what? And he did not what? On the earth for how long? One man. One man was in charge of rain on the earth. He prayed intensely. Now, why I said we should read Amplified, let's go back to it so that we can see it. And what do I want us to see? Elijah was a man with what? Later, like who? Like who? Like who? With the same what? Mental and physical and spiritual what? And, and he what? Listen to this, regardless of the limitations and shortcomings, your prayer can still take charge. Your prayer. We all have limitations, we all have challenges, we all have things challenging us, but our prayer is different because of the way we pray. Some we pray in limitations and in shortcomings with fear, with agitation. With all law, with cry, will God do it? One man said, no, regardless of limitation, regardless of the shortcomings, the challenge, I'm going to ensure there is no rain for three and a half years. The same man came again in 1 Kings chapter 18 from verse 40 to 46. He commanded the rain, and the rain came down. One man. The question is, what were others doing when he was doing this? Hallelujah. For you, your prayers are answered. So prayer from the earth, from the heart, changes things and makes your answers to be delivered. Speedily, promptly, quickly. Number two, how do I pray to receive answer number two? When we have prayed specifically and with precision. You have prayed what? Specifically, precisely, like Anna. One of the prayers of Anna, for example, is, Lord, give me a man child. First Samuel chapter 1, from verse 13 to 14. Give me a man child, and when you give him to me, I will give him back to you as a priest. 
at the end, did Anna conceive and give birth everybody? Yours also is already answered. Amen. Tap your neighbor, pray specifically. Pray, pray with precision, 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 with precision, precisely. That's how to pray. Blind Bartimaeus, for example, in Mark chapter 10, also verse 47, asked that his eyes may be received. Jesus said, what will you have me do? He said that I may receive my sight. And at the end of it all, blind Bartimaeus' eyes became open on that day. Somebody here, your prayers are answered. I said your prayers are answered. Many a times we pray from the head and not praying specifically with precision. Hallelujah. Somebody here, your prayer will be with precision. I said your prayer will be with precision. Number three, when we have prayed according to his will, his word. We have prayed according to scriptures. Has anyone here been praying according to scriptures here? If you are praying, just wave your hand. I've been praying according to scriptures. Your prayers already have been what? Answer. When you are praying according to his will, the word of God, scriptures, then your prayers have been answered. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 26, they have put me in remembrance. Let us plead together, declare that thou mayest be justified. So every good thing is the will of God for you. Every good thing. Every good thing. Isaiah 41 verse 21 also. Isaiah 41 verse 21. So every time we pray his will, his will for us is good thing. He said, produce your cause. Say the Lord, bring forth your what? Strong reasons. Say it, the king of, of Jacob. Every time we see the word say it, I've told us before, it's present continuous. You said it yesterday, you say it today, you say it tomorrow. It's still say it. And when you say it, God also delivers it. When you say it, you seize it. When you say it, you collect it. When you say it, it's released on your part. For somebody here, it's released on your part. Let me tap your neighbor, say it, say it. And when you say it, say it confidently. Say it what? Confidently. Confidently, not uh, beggarly. Not fearfully. Say it confidently. First John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. He said, this is the confidence that we have. That we have in it. That if we ask anything according to his will. First John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. He heareth us. And if we know he heareth us, whatsoever we ask, we know that our petition also, that we have desired of him, must also be received. Somebody's petition here is received in Jesus' name. I say your petition is received in Jesus' name. Number four, when we have prayed in faith, when we have what, everybody? We serve a covenant-keeping God that answers prayer, but we must pray in faith. We must pray in faith. We, have, we must ask, believe him, and we will receive. We must pray in faith. Not praying in fear, but in faith, in faith. Matthew 21, verse 22. All things whatsoever ye ask, in prayer believing, ye receive them, and you shall have them. Mark eleven twenty four. Mark eleven twenty four. 24. He said, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. I love this scripture. Hebrews 10, and verse 23. Hebrews 10, verse 23. He said, let us hold fast. The profession of our faith, not without what? Without wavering for he, he is faithful that what? Tap your neighbor, stop wavering. Pray that prayer, mean it. Tell your neighbor, mean it. Say it. See it. And it will happen physically. Mean it. See it. Say it. And it will happen physically. Though it tarries, wait for it. For at the end, it will speak. It will answer. Nothing can stop it if it came from the heart. If it's prayed according to the will of God. If it's prayed specifically. If it's prayed with faith, it will be delivered. 
Nothing can stop it. Is somebody getting what I'm saying at all? Nothing can stop it. No matter the situation of life, God will rescue you on the prayer altar. God is too faithful to fail. None of us here, we see failure in Jesus' name. Number five, how do we pray? When you have prayed in the name of Jesus. When you have what? In the name of who? In the name of Jesus. John 14 from verse 20. John 14, 12 to 14. He said, verily, verily. And when you see that, it's called tautology. Repetition. And when you see repetition, it's for emphasis so that you don't miss it. Verily, verily. Surely, surely. As I have said unto you, John 14, 12 to 14. He that believes on me and, and the works that I do, he will do. Greater works than this he will do because what? I go to the Father. Somebody here, that is becoming your testimony. Tell your neighbor it's your year of greater works. Say to yourself, it's my year of greater works. Say to ourselves, it's our year of greater works. It's our year of greater works. It's our year of greater works. In verse 14, he said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you ask what anything in my what, what will he do? He said he won't do it. He will what? I will do it. Just ask in my name. Just put my name there and see whether it will be delivered. I need you to live here with audacity that I have not wasted 21 days praying. I have not wasted, I don't know about you, I have not wasted my prayer. It's, it's not a waste. I will see every prayer point answer in my hand this year, 2023. I have seen it before. I will see it again. There are prayers we have prayed and we have seen answer. Now, has anyone ever prayed there no answer before? Just wave your hand. Let me see your hand so that we can help you pray this morning. If he has ever answered your prayer, what makes you think this one won't be answered? What makes you think you have wasted 21 days of fasting and prayer? What makes you think you have wasted 21 days of seeking him and wanting to find him? What makes you think you have been knocking for 21 days and the door will not be open? The door is already open. I said it's already open. Tap your neighbor, the door is already open. Now walk through the door. Walk through the door. Don't be afraid. Don't be timid. Walk through that door. Walk through the door. Stop being timid. Walk through the door. The door's already open. Go and take it again. Go and dare it again. Go and reapply again. Go. Go and do it again because you serve a God that is not a dead God. It's not a dumb God. It's not a deaf God. It's a God that answers prayer. He has answered our prayer. He has answered your prayer. He has answered my prayer. He has answered our prayer. Number six, when we have prayed without being offended in God. When we have what? Prayed without being what? Offended in God. First Corinthians 10 verse 10. Neither Momo as some Momo and were destroyer of the destroyer. Matthew 11, verse 6 also, he said, And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be all offended in me. Luke 17, verse 1, it is impossible in this world that offense will need come. But warn to him through which offense come. Offense is there, but don't be offended in God. Amen. Don't be what? Number seven, when peace, the peace of God rules my heart and mind. Your prayer has been answered. Pray to the point where there is peace. Pray to the point where heaviness is lifted. Pray to the point where there is no agitation in your soul. Pray to the point where there is no heaviness on your shoulder. Then your prayer has been answered. Your prayer has been what? Answered. Somebody's prayer already has been answered. Philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 and 7. He said, be careful for nothing, but by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your what? Your request be known unto God. 
in verse 7, it said, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. That is somebody's testimony here. I said, that is somebody's testimony here. You have entered into rest. No more agitation. And then number eight, how do I know? When the Holy Ghost bear witness with your spirit that your prayer has been answered. When the Holy Ghost bears witness with your spirit that your prayer has been answered. Romans 8 verse 16. His spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the sons of God. We are the sons of God. So when we engage the Holy Ghost in prayer, in verse 26, there is a weakness and we know that our prayers have been answered. We know not how to pray as we ought to pray, verse 26. But the Holy Ghost with, with groanings that cannot be uttered, prayed for us. That means the prayer cannot be stopped. The prayer is already answered. For somebody here, your prayers are answered in Jesus' name. Now what then do you do between the time you have prayed and when you receive? What are the things to do? What are the practical things to do to get your hands on your answer practically? To take delivery of our dispatched answers on the altar of prayer. What are the things to do very quickly? Amen. Number one, keep giving God glory. Keep what, everybody? Keep giving God glory. Don't stop. Keep giving God glory. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Keep giving God glory. Keep giving God glory. 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 Galatians 6 verse 9, let us not be weary in well-doing, but in due season, if we faint not, we shall reap. That is your testimony. Number two, keep thinking and seeing our answer. Mind what you take. Keep thinking and seeing your answer. Amen. Proverbs 23 verse 7, keep thinking and seeing your answer. See it, think it, see it, visualize it. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Philippians 4 verse 8, whatever things that is of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, these are the things to think about. Think on these things. Think on these things. Number three, what do you do? Keep speaking the reality of your answer. Keep speaking the reality of your answer. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 6. Proverbs 18 verse 21. Keep speaking the reality of your answer. Keep speaking the reality of your answer. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say before the angel that it's one error. None of us here will say it's an error. Keep speaking the reality. Keep speaking it. Keep speaking it. And then number four. Amen. Mind your steps of action. Keep acting your expectation. Keep what? Acting your expectation. Acts chapter 3 verse 11. Acts 3, Acts 3 verse 5. He was expecting to receive from them. Acts 3 verse 5. He was expecting to receive from them. He gave heed unto them and was expecting to receive from them. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 3. Please know that God weighs our action. He weighs it. First Samuel 2 verse 3. Amen. He said, for the Lord, the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him, actions are what? So your actions should be actions of you keep acting your expectation. You keep acting your expectation. It is my prayer that every one of us here will experience that in the name of Jesus. And finally, number five, be joyful, be praiseful. Be joyful be what? Be joyful and continuously be praiseful. When you remain joyful and praiseful, you see your expectation being delivered. Psalm 66, verse 7 to 8. And then Psalms 47 and verse 7. Keep be joyful and be praiseful. As you celebrate him all through this season, your answer will come in Jesus' mighty name. Please know something. Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11. He has made all things beautiful in his time. In your time, when your cloud is full, every of your testimony will get into your hand. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's rise to our feet, everybody, and give him thanks. Appreciate him. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Magnify him. Give him honor. Give him adoration. It's worthy to be praised, worthy to be magnified. Somebody who knows their prayer has been answered, lift up your hand and appreciate him. Appreciate him with, with confidence. Appreciate him. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. You are 
You have not prayed to storage. God has answered your prayer. He has answered your prayer. He has answered your prayer. Give him thanks and appreciate him and give him the glory. It's worthy to be praised, worthy to be magnified. Thank you and thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Quickly look at your neighbor on your right or your left. Tell them your prayer has been answered. Now look at, look at, everybody look, watch me, watch me. Say it confidently to them. Your prayer has been answered. Say it one more time. Your prayer has been answered. Say it one more time. My prayer has been answered. You know why I don't pray? We have not prayed to a deaf God. We have not prayed to what? A deaf God because he hear it. Prayer. And we have prayed every prayer point with what is expected, the way to pray. And we are sure that before 2023 concludes, right before our eyes, we'll be shifting levels. I said we'll be shifting levels in the name of Jesus Christ. How many of us are ready for the prophetic blessing from our Father in the faith this morning? Every blessing declared will not miss your hand. It will not miss your career. It will not miss your life. It will not miss your destiny. It will answer promptly, quickly, rapidly in Jesus' mighty name. But just before we connect, we don't want to assume everyone is born again. We want to give everyone here an opportunity to become a child of God so as to receive the blessing of the Father from the prophets over this commission in the name of Jesus Christ. You are here, you are not sure of your salvation, just where you are, I'd like you to lift up your hand. You want to surrender to him as your Lord and your Savior. This morning, I want to give you the opportunity. Just lift up your hand and give us the opportunity to pray with you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. You want to accept him as your Lord and your Savior, your right hand hope. God bless you. God bless you. Anyone making that decision? Amen. Now, number two, you want to rededicate yourself back to him. You've been born again before, but somehow you're disconnected, but you want to rededicate yourself back. I'd like you to also lift up your hand. I'm going to pray with you just where you are. Amen. Just lift up your hand so I can identify you. I pray with you. Anyone making that decision this morning? Father, we give you the glory and we give you the praise and we give you the honor. Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. One more time, appreciate God. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, let's open up our heart to receive the final blessing in this season from our father and the faith. Remember, Elijah lied on that child. And by the third time, what happened to everybody? He rose. Uh, for you, this is the top prophetic declaration. Everything dead is jacking back to life. Put those beautiful hands together. Let's have our seat as we receive the blessing. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the wicked is fully set in him to do evil. So God believes in speedy execution. Karombaga. He said, I'm going to bring one more plague upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. And after that, he, will, he has no power anymore to hold you down. By the invocation of vengeance today, no opposition of hell has any more power to hold you back. Yeah. Speedy. Release of vengeance. Yeah. Now, you know why we need to do these three reasons. This is proclaimed our Isaac order of year, where we are ordained to be turned to the envies of our world. And Satan, the king of Assyria, commanded the 32 captains, fight with neither small or great, save with the king of Israel. So we are his target. Where are they going? Are they the only one? 
So the enemy has vowed to stand on the way, and God has vowed our rescue. Yeah. So today, any opposition of hell standing on your way comes under vengeance. Yeah. Your enviable destiny must speak this year. sold in the land and received in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And he went forward, waxed great, and grew until he became very great. He had possessions of flocks, possessions of herds, great stuff servants, and the Philistines envied him. The king said, get thee out of us who are mightier than us. He became mightier than the nation he dwelt in. Opengero, they became very angry. He moved on and they saw him expanding and enlarging. No hatred or bitterness will stop the way against you. They had to go to meet him. Please, let there be peace between us and you. Because you have what it takes to overrun us. One man, one man. A pen clean clone crack can operate us. Today, every opposition of hell organized on your path comes under judgment. <laughs> Secondly, it's our covenant highways of life here. We saw them to turn us to high flyers in the race of life. So he hates it. His name is called the wicked. Everything would embitter him. So he sends his agents here and there. But you'll never be found in the street corners anymore. Yeah. You'll never be found on the byways anymore. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Third reason. It's also ordained our obedidom all that year through our selfless dedication to God. Three months compact. Botin Graka. I mean, the news of his blessing broke through in the palace. Breaking news orders of turnaround. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. There are people here today who will appear on global networks. Trenos yeah. Komaga. It was only one year that Isaac's story changed supernaturally. Only three months, the story of Obedidom changed. Mm. This man is not an orator. Never. Not a speaker. Never. I'm called the prophet with the word of the Lord in my mouth. In the precious name of Jesus, whose I am unto myself and who sent me to you, today brings down all oppositions on your path. For surely they shall gather together, but not by me. And all that gathers together against you, they shall fall for your sake. They shall fall for your sake. All your walls of Jericho have come down crumbling. All the walls of Jericho standing between you and your promised land, they are down crumbling. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The day of vengeance for my final escape is finally here. Amen. Can you say that convincingly? Amen. One more time with confidence.
Therefore, whatever man mocks our enviable destiny, breaking news order of testimonies, comes under judgment today. Yeah. Every generation of course, all, all satanic assaults, sickness and disease, barrenness, carry on business frustration, as vengeance is being invoked today through this prophet, they come down crashing. Yeah. And whatever mocks a glorious destiny in Christ comes under the judgment of God today. Yeah. God avenge his own elect that crown to him night and day. He said, Very well, to you, he will avenge them speedily. Today is your day of speedy vengeance in the camp of your enemy. Yeah. It's important also for us to know that prophets are God's agents of vengeance. Prophets are God's agents of vengeance. He sent Moses as agent of vengeance upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Elijah emerged and brought vengeance on the worshippers of Baal. Paul came, filled with the Holy Ghost, invoked vengeance on Elimas. If you check Acts chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, he was listed among prophets and pa prophets who are having, you know, prayer and fasting. He's a prophet of God. Therefore, whatever vengeance this prophet invokes on your behalf and in the name of Jesus is turned to a testimony. Your family is released from the cause of the wicked. Yeah. Your children have finally escaped from the hold of the wicked one. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. And so shall it be. Yeah. He said to me, Behold, I've touched your tongue with the coal of fire. As you say it, you will see it. Everything I'm saying concerning you today, you will see them as testimony. Before 30th of April, God will have turned you to a surprise to yourself. As you engage with God with your heart, <laughs> he will release his glory on your life. Yeah. He will turn captains out of non-entities. Yeah. People without identity will hit surprises. Yeah. Now my daughter said, the post I was not qualified for, they gave me. Because I stood with God and suddenly I became MD of a multinational company and moved out of Nigeria after Sukengari. Amen. Couldn't fly to anywhere for any interview except to interview him online. They have not seen you, they say you are the one they are looking for. I mean, whether you can see properly or not, it doesn't matter. You are, you are the one we are looking for. They didn't see your picture. This is the one they want. They will send for you. Amen. You are like keeping the ship now behind the desert. Yes, they will send for you. Amen. Stand to your feet, everyone. Amen. Amen. After Hannah prayed, then came Eli and said, The Lord God of Israel has granted thee 
that which you requested. This prophet is saying today, with your hands lifted up, all of your demands as to giving to intense thanksgiving today are declared delivered. No more money or complaints will ever come out of your lips again. Wrong words will not destroy the works of your hand. Evil association will not rob you of your enviable destiny. Sin will not slay you. In the name of Jesus. I decree that your revived spiritual life today will stay revived all the year. Your prayer life will not end now. Your passion for the Lord will keep burning. Your follow-up and devil will keep breaking for. Your compelling invitation for others to be saved will keep going. Your love for God will never burn low. Amen. This will be your greatest revival year. Amen. Whatever anyone has been set free from, you will never go back there. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, listen. I decree vengeance upon the wicked. Your final escape. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your testimony begins from after this service. Your testimony begins from after this service. Your testimonies begin from after this service. Your testimonies begin from after this service. In the name of Jesus. There was so much crying all across Egypt as God's vengeance came. Every family in Egypt, lost their firstborn, including firstborn of animals. When God stepped in to defend you, anything happened. I release willies in the camp of your enemies. All that want to dead die in your place. To down and out, they go down finally for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your graves are now open. Amen. Your enemies are now buried there. Amen. Your long awaited all and rest is finally here. Jesus' name. Amen. All that received that prophetic word, lift up your two hands. Give God thanks. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new beginning. Let's go ahead. Give him thanks. I appreciate him this morning. Give him thanks. I appreciate him. Magnify him. Thank him for the prophetic release over your life. We give you praise and honor in Jesus' mighty name. As you go, you are returning with testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Remember, as instructed from our Father in the faith, the rest of the day is a time of what? 
thanksgiving. So keep thanking him till the end. You break your fast in the evening, and then your testimonies will begin to testify in Jesus' mighty name. Please take note the clothing of miracles. Let's pick that up very quickly. And also, uh, the prophetic declaration read to us today, the 23, 2023 prophetic weeks of harvest. Let's pick that also up. And then next Sunday is Covenant Open Doors. Amen. All these materials will be shared with us. Let's take advantage of them. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Please take note, next Sunday we're going to be having the Covenant Pact. For those that were here at the all night, God Sabbath, they talked about the Covenant Pact. We looked at that. We're going to look at that extensively next Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ. So that will be shared with us next Sunday, not today. In case they're in your parks, you would need them for next Sunday in Jesus' mighty name. Also take note that the Covenant Day of Trumpet holds what day, everybody? Wednesday, the 1st of February, 6 a.m. is the time in this auditorium. Also take note, Leadership Empowerment Summit holds on Saturday. The, what time is it, everybody? We're also meeting 6 a.m. here in the auditorium. So Wednesday, Saturday. Take note, the week of emphasis is not holding this week, so uh, let's take advantage of it. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Every other announcement mentioned, take advantage of it. Most importantly also, one more good news. <laughs> Our first service, which is coming up in February, uh, in the evening, February the 1st on Wednesday, we meet here, and we also meet in, one, in two Harvest Fellowship Centers, this year. Amen? And that's sitting born and backing. Amen? So take note of that. In the course of the year, we'll be introducing us to more Harvest Fellowship Centers where everybody gets to go on Wednesday. So uh, you take advantage of this season. None of us will be Sunday, Sunday members any longer. So please be at City Bond this Wednesday and also in backing. And then we'll let you know the next Harvest Center. Let you know the next Harvest Center. We have sixth plan for this year. How many number did I mention, everybody? So watch out for it. We'll begin to introduce them to you one after the other. And this year, remember, it's a year of what? Wildfire what? Revival. So I see everything about you already being already revived. No one of us here shall lose our revival fire. In Jesus' mighty name. Every other announcement, earlier announced, take advantage of them. Next Sunday is Covenant Open Doors and also our Thanksgiving Sunday for all that God did for us this month of January. And it's also our prophetic entrance into the new month. So take advantage of it. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Today is your first time. We'd like to pray for you. Our time is up. Today is your first Sunday here. Uh, winners around there, please just help me welcome them. Please take all that you came in with. Please come forward very quickly. Very quickly as we close the service. Today is your first Sunday here. Do we have anybody in that category? It's your first time worship with us here. Father, we give you the praise. If you are clapping, make it bigger. Come on. Let's show some warmth, show some love. Father, we give you thanks. If you are still joining us, join us very quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. In Jesus' mighty name. Well, we welcome you to Witness Chapel. That for that we know your life will never be the same again. We are thankful to God for bringing you here into this place. And our prayer is that signs and wonders will become your testimony at a greater level from now. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to encourage you to be a part of this whole fold. Be a part of this family. And as you do, your life will never be the same again. Every three, three months, the next one year, expect drastic life-shifting miracles in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. So to help you establish, to get you, you know, integrated in the family, there's a kingdom friend waiting for you. I'd like you to go with him. Just some few minutes. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Just go with him, church. Let's show some love one more time. <laughs> Father, we give you the glory. And we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Now, lift up your hands. Let's appreciate him for the first time as he brought here this morning. Give him thanks because he's establishing them here. Father, we give you thanks. We appreciate you. We we'll bless you. We we'll celebrate you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. One of the cultures this year is we're thanking God for every member he brings. 
We are going to be doing that. Every soul God gives to you and they come into church. What should you do, everybody? We thank him because he's going to be establishing them here. Be blessed in Jesus' name. As you go, the Lord go with you. And as you return, return with testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Remember, the remaining hours to the evening is what are we doing, everybody? So keep thanking him. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And we say, surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. Congratulations. Extend your hand of fellowship with everyone. Congratulate them. You made it to the final day. God bless you all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, by your spirit, we've got liberty. And in the light of your presence, we are changed. From glory to glory, we rise by your spirit, and we'll never remain the same it's turning turning for my good it's turning it's turning for my good 